Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're going to be talking about Forge World. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. So today we're going to be taking a look at some Forge World comparisons between essentially Games Workshop and actual Forge World kits. What are the actual differences, not only in the kits themselves, but in the pricing, presentation, packaging, etc. So today we're going to be looking at the Necron Canoptic Tomb Sentinel. So this is a resin kit, which is a big deal because it's resin instead of plastic. The majority of Games Workshop kits are plastic, with the exception of they do still have some old fine cast miniatures, which are just old miniatures cast in resin. Everything coming from Forge World is resin, with the exception of the sort of like upgrade kits. Some of the kits are just the plastic kits with a bunch of upgrade components. In this case, this one is completely resin. So I paid about 100 US dollars for this kit from Forge World. And if you looked at something in the range for Necrons, there's nothing that really compares to this for like a one to one. But I would assume if this kit was in plastic, it would probably be priced somewhere in between like 60 and 80 dollars. So the hundred dollar price tag is roughly like 50 to 100 percent more. So about twice as expensive on the high end. And how does it compare? Well, if you've never used resin before, there's a lot more prep work goes into it. You need to wash and clean everything. You still need to clip everything. You still need to remove mold lines, all that good stuff. You just have a couple of extra steps in like the preparation phase. And in this case, this kit has a ton of components. So this one is an expert level product, uh, which is recommended for 15 plus years old. And let's take a look at what actually comes inside the box here. So when you open this up, you're going to get your instruction manual. You're going to get a little something from Forge World, and then you're going to get your actual model. Now, in this case, I've already actually built and painted this model, so we're not going to be taking a look at that. So if we just sort of unfold these instructions here, we'll see Imperial Armor, Necron Canoptic Tomb Sentinel product code. And then we see like a little tally up of all the parts that come in the set. It tells you exactly how many of each things are in here. So in this case, we have six sets of legs and there's four of each. You're going to actually end up having four extra legs. So they're in different positions. So in this case, we're going to use 20 legs and have four extras. Then we have main body times four, tail times two, et cetera, et cetera. So if you go down the list, it just shows all of the parts. Make sure you have everything when you get something from Forge World because a lot of times there will be something missing or something broken. So the first thing you should do is just go down this checklist and make sure everything is there. Everything is intact and in usable condition. If there is an issue, like something is missing, which is very common from Forge World, they're pretty good about replacing parts as long as you order directly from them. And same if something is broken as well, they'll probably ask for some pictures. You let them know and then within a few weeks they will replace whatever the issue is. The actual instructions themselves look like they were printed off at home in like the 1990s. So they're not exactly like the amazing quality you would expect for a $100 product. But they give you what you need. Shows essentially like how to put it together. There's some tips about posing it, etc. We look on the back here. It says essentially you get 24 different legs, 6 different poses. You're going to use 20 of them. So they basically just break it down and give you some simple stuff. And then this is your other sort of like pamphlet that comes with it. It's your building guide for resin models you'll notice that it will always have like a checked by date on here and essentially all that means is whoever made sure that this kit was in good condition to ship out will be held responsible if there's an issue so that being said if you just kind of flip this open here it gives you a couple of tips for actually working with resin recommended tools clippers modeling knife sanding pads etc just kind of showing it down and then breaks down the actual preparation checking and cleaning casting gates and mold lines and then finally it talks about warped parts and shims. And then finally some basic assembly, priming, and painting stuff. So I have worked with quite a bit of resin. I'm not a big fan of it. It is definitely subpar to the current high-tech plastic injection that a company like Games Workshop uses. And the plastic is much, much better. Almost everything can be pulled straight out of the box, cleaned up minimally, and then put together. Does not require any washing or drying time. Forge World and resin in general is definitely just a next step in the hobby and just make sure you start off with a small kit, something simple, rather than jumping in with one of the massive like Titans or something like that. Because I think you'll find that the amount of extra prep work can be daunting, especially on a very large project. So that being said, once you get past the initial shock and awe of Forge World, all the extra like preparation and everything, the reading, the making sure you have the right tools and everything, 
The actual kit itself is absolutely amazing. There's nothing like this in the plastic Necron range. And I've never built one of these before, but this thing is absolutely awesome. It did take a long time to kind of clean everything up and get it all positioned and everything before you actually start gluing. In this case, I did make a custom base as well from some old uh, Necron kind of terrain pieces. So in this particular case, this one is for a commission. So I had to match the basing style and like color scheme and everything for one of my clients. We did the addition of some of the green stuff world, like green kind of crystals and everything, some resin pieces that they sell, along with the actual like custom base and the posing and everything. And in this case, I'm very happy with how everything came out. This was a really cool kit. The price tag is definitely on the little expensive side, but this thing is pretty large and everything. When you put it next to a Space Marine, it is pretty daunting. A very, very cool model, lots and lots of pieces. I would say difficulty wise, this is for the size of the kit, definitely one of the more difficult things that you could build from them. But a lot of that had to do with like the posability of the individual body panels and then all of the big legs and like the little bit legs as well. But I can honestly say after completing this thing that it is awesome. I never really thought that I would do one of these in particular, but it's always been a kind of cool model. I've seen cool pictures of them, cool poses and everything. But after completing this one, it is definitely awesome. Very happy with how it came out. Used a combination of airbrushing and then regular brush techniques as well uh, to get like kind of like the glowing effect. There's obviously a lot of green on this piece. So we wanted to make sure that there's a lot of contrast from like the darks, the lights, and then of course, like the various metals as well. So what's my honest opinion on Forge World and resin and then this specific kit? Well, I have to say that I'm not a huge fan of Forge World and resin. The stuff that they make is nice, but I much prefer the plastic, which is why I love that they are basically like replacing a lot of the Forge World stuff with new plastic kits for like the 40K range and uh, Horus Heresy as well. That being said, because this kit is only offered in resin, I have to say that it's absolutely awesome. The kit is well designed. There's tons of posability so you can get like real life motion to it. I gave it kind of like a little bit of a turn on its body and then made it look like it was kind of like walking up the door and kind of posing down. You can see like the front claws are kind of hanging down over the front. And I definitely like that effect. Uh, very happy with like the amount of depth, the height, the motion that you get out of this kit. And when it's all said and done for more advanced hobbyists, I would definitely recommend something like this. I think this is a really cool kit. If you're a Necron player, it's absolutely amazing. And it looks even better in person. The combination of like brushwork and then like the airbrush and everything to get like the OSL and glow effects, the custom basing with the crystals and kind of like black sand. Really, really happy just with how this thing came out. And it was definitely very fun to work on. Took a lot of time preparation before you actually get into it, before you start gluing stuff, before you start posing everything. But once you do, it really just flies by. It was definitely super fun working on this piece in general. And uh, one thing that's really fun about doing commissions is just getting to do all kinds of different stuff. A lot of times with a specific army, you just end up painting like a ton of space Marines or ultramarines or whatever. It just feels like more of the same. One cool thing about this, not only is it like Necron, so it's a little bit different, but it's also like the green paint job. There was very specific like basing and paint color techniques. This thing was a ton of fun and I uh, really, really enjoyed it. So I just want to talk a little bit about Forge World in this video. A lot of people are newer to the hobby or have been in the hobby for quite some time, but have never really dealt with resin. So it can be a little bit intimidating. The price tag also can be definitely intimidating as well, especially if you're not sure if you're just going to end up picking something up, not liking it, end up ruining something. I would definitely recommend that if you're starting with resin, you should start small. I think a lot of like the upgrade kits like and bits and stuff like that are a good place to initially start just with some heads, some weapons, etc. Once you mess around with them, see how the resin works and everything, you can definitely get into like a more complicated kit like this. But I definitely would not recommend this for beginners or for young kids or anything like that. You also have to be very careful as the resin itself can be very toxic. So if you're doing any filing or anything like that, when you're cleaning it, you should wear gloves. There's definitely a lot of extra like prep and safety work that goes into resin. But when it's all said and done, it's definitely worth it. This thing is absolutely awesome. And while I don't love the Games Workshop prices on all the Forge World stuff, the fact that this kit is not otherwise available and uh, just makes such an absolutely awesome dynamic model, there's definitely still a place for Forge World, at least in the uh, Games Workshop world. So yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about Forge World, give you my honest opinion on the kit and everything, and uh, just kind of show off something that I've been working on here. 
Let me know what you think down below. Did you enjoy this video? Are you thinking about trying out some resin, some Forge World stuff? Have you had bad or good experiences with them in the past? Any extra hints or tips that you like to share down below? I always appreciate it. Always like to hear back from the community. And of course, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check them out. Link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And I love this crazy little bug. And I'm out of here. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video.